Hello and welcome. This is Jeff Grace from the House Clearance Shop in Eastbourne and today I want to give you a quick guided tour of a mobile canteen of cutlery. Now I say that I normally wouldn't probably show something like this because, well, let's face it, there are literally millions of canteens of cutlery out there, but, but, there aren't many like this one because this one is made by Joseph Rogers and Sons. Now, the more familiar of you out there who are more familiar with flatware will have almost certainly heard of him because Joseph Rogers and Sons have the royal stamp. This set is no different. In fact, I'll get to that in a minute. When we look in the drawer, you see many pieces of there have a little G and an R, which means it's also assigned to King George. Right, looking at the top quickly, uh, the first thing we notice is that the top is slightly faded. You've got these little marks here, okay? You're going to get this sometimes with any piece of a furniture that's been used in a kitchen or around a table. It's going to happen a little bit, but I don't think they're anything too serious. The top is made from oak, and of course, to make things easier, the side doesn't actually extend. We've got a side here, pull out, uh, and you've got another side here. Now, as is normally the case, the top is for the brunt of the work in the sun, and of course, the sides are darker. So, this is a normal thing for a piece like this. The wonderful thing is, it's a it has wheels, so. It's maneuverable. The wheels, although squeaky, do work very well. And now we come to the sort of meat, as it were, on the bone of this particular piece, because what I want to do is I want to go inside the drawer and show you uh, all the cutlery inside it. And the first thing to notice before we even open that is a little label here. We have quite clearly written, and I'll show you that as best I can. It says, Joseph Rogers and Sons Limited, number six works, Sheffield Engineer, along with the registered uh, trademark. So. That's the first um, sign that you have that this is a Joseph Rogers piece. Coming inside here, okay, now we have a bit of a mixture. Now this is, to be honest with you, is the main reason why I wanted to do this video because there's so many different parts to this, okay, and I really wanna just give you a very quick guided tour of this whole set. Now, the first thing to really that really shines out to me is all the knives. Now, all the knives in this area here and all the knives in this area here they still have their wax covers on and if you look at if you take one off this you're creating this incredibly this is hard you can you're gonna see me now you see the roof and everything so they're like mirrors um, you can just about make out the mark there now, so please bear with me we've got there and i'll read it out to you just in case you can't i mean let's face it it's quite difficult to do uh, it just says uh, joseph rogers and sons cut low to his majesty Sheffield, England with their marks and of course it has the marks if you look on there it has the marks G and R which would be King George VI so this dates it probably to around about the 50s now saying that we've got all these knives in wonderful condition the rest of it is a bit more of a mixed bag because I think some of this has had no use at all such as these glass spoons here and you can see the mark there okay some of it I think had a little bit of use and there's two pieces here, to be fair, these two spoons here, which I'm not sure if they bear the actual mark of Rogers, okay? So I'm, I'm kind of guessing they're later editions and may not be. It says A1. It's got a J and R there. It, it, well, it could be that. Sorry, I don't know why you can see that. So it could be Joseph Rogers, but I'm not seeing all the rest of them have the name quite clearly spelled. So I'm just a little bit concerned that they may not be. But they're in the Joseph Rogers settling with the others, so... It, it, I was just a bit concerned with them. I like to be very, very upfront with any, any one of my sales. Got all the forks, okay. Um, I don't think, and I should state up front, I don't think this is a complete set. I think there are pieces of this missing. I'm gonna be absolutely upfront about this, okay. So we've got these forks here. Uh, we've got more forks here. Okay, and there's the marks. We've got, sorry, I'll go through this because obviously if you're interested in this, you wanna know just how many there are. Um, if you're just interested in it as a set quickly, then obviously you can stop this video and start bidding as soon as you like. But there's more there. Okay. And I'll put these here. And then of course, there's some more knives. And these things are just, I think one thing that really does impress me, is just how sharp these things are. I mean, we're talking man alive. I mean, that you would not want to, that is, that is, that is incredibly sharp. That is a very, very sharp instrument. I mean, if, I think all of us grew up with these as kids, you know, spreading our bread and butter or whatever. 
but I don't think my mum would have ever let me near that one because that thing, honestly, as a kid, would, would cut you. So there you are. Now there's a few other bits here. Which I think there's a distinct shortage of, uh, would appear, teaspoons, which obviously in any house are always the most precious things used the most. There's actually another one here, so now I don't know if it's going to rye. Yeah, lots of Rogers there as well. A little bit of tarnishing on that one. I'm hoping that as I'm showing you this, you're getting the, uh, the gist of the whole pack. So that's why I wanted to make this film. I wanted it to be as near as darn it as you actually being here sat with me so you can have a really good uh, familiarization. It's upside down, I do apologize. Uh, familiarization with what's actually in this set. So I think that just about does it. I don't know if it's actually part of it or not. It may not be that much, be a late addition to the whole thing. So I'll put it anyway. You can have that if you like. But that's fine. So I'm just going to close this up. And there's one, a few other bits at the back there that I may have missed. There you are. So there's all of these also. Uh, I can't properly tell on that one. And this one almost certainly isn't part of the original set, I would say, but it's found its way in with the, with the insignia. Once again, I'll just include that. You know, you might come in handy for something one day, you never know. So that's that there. It's a great set. Oh, it's just cool. on the sponge. This is live. Yeah, I called these straight up. Yeah. So that's that. And I'll just slide these back in. Sorry, it's a bit jerky as I do this. There's only so much I can do at once. there and that's the whole thing there so if you've got any questions or queries please don't hesitate to ask me i'm gonna shut up now and get this onto the internet so you can watch it and um that's about it really so thanks for watching and all the best and if you, you know i try to make these things as thorough and extensive as i can but if you've got any other questions then please don't hesitate to ask thanks a lot catch you later bye